Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Android apps on an unsupported Windows 11 computer. So if you have a Windows 11 computer that is installed using the methods that I've showed in previous videos and your computer doesn't meet the minimum requirements for Windows 11, which is TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot, you can still install Android apps, but you're going to have to follow the steps from this video because in this video, I'm going to show you how to sideload apps to Windows 11. And this will be a process that can 100% let you you install Android apps in Windows 11, even if you are on a unsupported version of the Windows 11 operating system. I really didn't test if you can install apps through the Amazon App Store using this method, but I don't really care about the Amazon App Store because it only provides like 50 apps so far. And if we sideload apps, we can install an unlimited amount of apps in Windows 11. So let's begin with this video. As you can see here, I'm on Windows 11 version 21 H2, basically the official version, the latest build 22k.282 and I am on a computer that is not compatible or doesn't currently meet the Windows 11 system requirements. I installed it using the registry editor modifications that I showed you in the previous video. If you want to check that out, you'll find a link down below in the description. And as you can see, this computer doesn't have TPM 2.0. It has secure but but it doesn't matter even if you don't have secure but and you successfully installed Windows 11, the method that I'm going to show you in this video will work for you. First of all, what you need to know is that you need to meet some requirements. You need to have the virtualization enabled on your BIOS. So the virtualization for your processor, if you didn't enable that, go in your BIOS and enable it in the processor tab. But if you used virtual machines before on your system, you most likely have that enabled already. Now you're going to have to go and click on the search menu and type in here Windows features and then click on turn Windows features on or off. From here, you will need to enable Hyper-V and then scroll down and enable also virtual machine platform. Click on OK. And as you can see Windows will search for the required files and will apply all the changes needed for those options that you selected or enabled. Now Windows completed the requested changes. Windows needs to reboot your PC to finish installing the requested changes. Click on restart now and wait for the computer to be restarted. Now after the computer restarted, you will need to set your PC region to US. So for that, just click on the search box and type in here settings and click on the settings app. In the settings app, search for the region settings and then click on region settings. Under region in the right side, make sure at country or region you have United States selected. After that, you can exit out from the settings app. Now we're gonna need to download the Windows subsystem for Android, which is basically that emulator that we're gonna use to run those Android apps. In the description down below, you're gonna have two articles. You're gonna have an article in which I show you step-by-step step how to download the Windows subsystem for Android and also how to sideload Android apps. So all the necessary information you can get from those two articles that will be in, in the description down below. What do you need to do first? Access this link, copy the link up top, and then go to store.rg-adguard.net. In this website, paste the link here, and from this button, select slow, and then click on this check mark. Wait for the site to load up the packages, and basically we will download the Windows subsystem for Android using the Microsoft servers, but not in an official way. Scroll down in this page to the last thing, which is Windows Subsystem for Android M6 bundle, and make sure it is the file that has 1.2 gigabyte. Click on it to start the download process. As you can see here, the storerg adgarnet servers can sometimes be pretty loaded, or maybe they don't work at times. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna leave you, of course, this link in the article down below in the description, but also I'm gonna provide you with a second link, which will be a WeTransfer link for this particular package and you can install through the WeTransfer link if you want. It's a WeTransfer link that was created by me so don't worry about any viruses or anything like that. It is basically the same file but uploaded on a um, WeTransfer so hurry and get that because the WeTransfer link will only last up to seven days. But of course, I recommend you try to download directly from this website. But if it doesn't work, try and download from the WeTransfer link that I'm going to provide you in the article down below in the description. One thing that I can specify is that using this method, you will be able to install Android apps also on uh, the normal versions of Windows 11 that are supported, uh, even if you are not on the beta channel of the Windows Insider program. And also in the dev channel of the Windows Insider program, you will be able to install the Android apps using 
using the method that I'm showing you in this video. So you have no limits. Of course, a lot of dev users as I am. I was really disappointed because Microsoft didn't launch the Android support first for the dev channel because most of us mainly used and uh, struggled through the unstable builds of the dev channel in order to be able to get the Android app support but Microsoft decided to roll it out first to the beta channel. That's not an issue, you can do this for the dev channel as well. As you can see now, the installer for the Windows subsystem for Android was successfully downloaded on my system. Now, after the Windows subsystem for Android installer was downloaded, you need to open up PowerShell. So click on the search box and type in here power. Right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. On user account control, click on yes. In the PowerShell, you're gonna have to copy and paste the following command. It's a command that you're gonna find in the article down below in the description, the first article, which is this one, add-appx package and the file location. Paste this here, delete the file location, and right click on the file and click on copy as path to copy its path, and then right click in PowerShell to copy the path here. Don't forget, open up Windows PowerShell as admin because otherwise this won't work. Then press enter. Now, if you receive this error after running this command, you have to know that Microsoft needs the following framework that can be provided in the Microsoft Store. So to fix this error, just open up the Microsoft Store, make sure you are logged into the Microsoft Store, click on library, and then click on get updates. Update every app from the Microsoft Store, and after that, run the command, and the application should be successfully installed. As you can see here, I have Windows subsystem for Android running on my system. Next up, we will need the SDK platform tools that you will find the link to in the article down below in the description as well. So the SDK platform tools contain tools such as ADB, FastBud, and SysTrace. Just go and click on download SDK platform tools for Windows, scroll down a bit, and click on the I have read and agree with the above terms and conditions and then click on download Android SDK platform tools. I'm just gonna drag and drop those to my desktop. You will need WinRAR or 7-zip to extract those. Right click on them, show more options, extract to platform tools and then enter into this folder and check if everything is okay. Now to install an Android app, we're gonna use of course an APK. So for that, we're gonna use the website apkmirror.com where you can find a lot of APKs. For example, I'm gonna search for the Instagram app APK, search for it, and then click on download to download the latest one, scroll down, click on see available downloads, and make sure any app you download has the extension .apk because these are the only apps that you can install with the Windows subsystem for Android. And again, scroll down and click on download APK. After the APK is downloaded, you have to copy and paste it to the platform tools location. So for example, I'm going to drag and drop the Instagram APK to my platform tools folder. As easy as that. Now we're going to have to open up CMD as administrator in this location and run a few commands, but not before opening the Windows subsystem for Android. Open it up and here you will need to enable the developer mode and then click on manager developer settings. Here click on continue and wait for a bit for Windows to start the Windows subsystem for Android. Click on allow access with the Windows Defender. Another thing that you need to note is that this operating system that I'm using right now isn't even activated. So I don't have a Windows 11 activated version and I can still install Android apps. In the Windows subsystem for Android, scroll down a bit and make sure that wireless debugging is enabled. Now you can exit out from the Windows subsystem for Android and next to IP address, if you see unavailable, click on refresh to see the IP address. You can minimize the Windows system for Android right now, click on the search box and type in here CMD. Right click on CMD, click on run as administrator, and then click on yes. We're gonna have to copy the location, so copy the link from the address bar from the platform tools folder, and in the command prompt type in CD, which is change directory, and right click to paste the location. Now we'll be in the command prompt as admin in this location. The next command that we're gonna have to use is adb connect and then we're gonna have to use this IP address that was provided for us in the Windows subsystem for Android. Click on copy, right click in the command prompt to paste it and then press enter. If you receive an error or something like that failed to authenticate, 
make sure to run the command again and it will say that it is already connected so this is just a little but and now to install our android application which is the instagram app we're gonna have to copy its name select it press f2 on your keyboard to rename it select its name right click on it and then copy and here in the command prompt type in here adb install install and then paste the name of that app and then press enter it's gonna say performing streamed install and success and as you'll see now we successfully installed the instagram app the android instagram app on our computer that is not supported by windows 11 but we installed it through some methods that i showed you in the previous videos and as i said before this operating system isn't even activated so as you can see the instagram app is working you can log in and use it as you want and you can do this for any other application that you want to install now as a bonus i'm going to show you how to make this process a lot more easier so for for that we're gonna download the apple music apk for example search for it i'm just gonna download and make sure again as i've said to download the apks as you can see this is not an apk this is a bundle of apks so download the apk click on this and then click again on download apk wait for it to be downloaded we're gonna basically create a script that will allow us once we double click on an apk to automatically install it without having to enter all these commands to change the directory to connect to install just double click on that so for that we're gonna have to open up a notepad open up the notepad and in the notepad you're gonna have to type in the following commands adb connect and then paste the ip that you had in your windows subsystem for android and then press enter to go in the following line and type in adb install and then percentage one you can click on file save as and then save this file into the platform tools location this is not really necessary but i recommend you do that and we're going to name this apk installer.bat make sure you put the extension .bat and then click on save we have the newly created script here now of course the apk files will need to be in the platform tools folder but you can just select the location manually to download them there and for the next steps if you want this to work make sure you have the windows subsystem for android up and running and then right click on an apk click on open with make sure you have selected always use this app to open apk.apk .apk files click on more apps and then click on look for another app on this pc and as you've guessed it we're gonna select our bat file our script select it and then click on open now just double click on the apk file and apple music will be installed on your system this is as easy as it gets so using the script that we've just created you will only have to open up the windows subsystem for android and then double click on an apk file and the apk file will be installed and of course the app as you can see here we have apple music let's just open it for a few seconds and as you can see the apple music app is working i'm just gonna click here to go further a bit but the application is working as it should and you can use the script as i've said to install any other apk so as a short recap to this video i showed you the minimum requirements that you need to meet in order to be able to install the android apps on a unsupported windows 11 computer then i showed you how to download and install the windows subsystem for android and also how to download the sdk platform tools that contains adb and then i showed you how to install manually an apk file basically sideload an android app into windows 11 and at the end of the video i showed you an easier method uh, that you can create in order to install an android app by creating that script all the information from this video in detail will be in these two articles down below in the description this one will be the first and this will be the second if you need more info you will have these two articles down below in the description i'm hoping this video was useful for those of you who want to install android apps on an unsupported windows 11 operating system if you have any other questions don't forget to leave them down below in the comments i'll be glad to help you or answer to you also don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one it was emmanuel from tech based until next time have a nice day